In this video, we're going to get into how to calculate inference load on a GPU. This can be applied to any new LLMs that comes out or any LLMs right now, such as Llama 4. How do we know how much memory load does it require? At the end of this video, you will also get the code for this on how to actually calculate the KV cache memory requirement with a Google Colab notebook. Now, let's get into it. If you guys have worked with LLMs, you guys probably have been aware that it requires a lot of GPU. And whenever I try, sometime I try to use a model in a GPU, it loads the model, but then when you start making inferencing on it, it crashes or it runs out of memory. And why is that? Why does it crash out out of nowhere? One time I deployed a AI model using a REST API endpoint, and then what happened is it loaded the model, everything was perfectly fine. After a few inferencing endpoint calls, what happened was the model engine crashed out. It couldn't allocate more memory. And I was so dumbfounded, like, why is it happening? Now, an answer to that could be because of inference memory. So whenever you load a model on a GPU, it doesn't not only loads the model GPU and, and takes that memory space, but it also requires some additional space as well. A good rule of thumb is having at least 20% of extra GPU memory to be able to use, at least 20 to 30%, actually, if I'm quite honest with you. That is a pretty good rule of thumb to have when you are loading and deploying the model for inferencing. Now, how do we know how much inference memory does it actually require for a specific model? So let's look into the transform architecture. Transform architecture is a multi-header attention based model. You have the encoder over here and you have the decoder. Most cases, these GPT based models tend to focus on this one, but regardless, it has something called a multi-headed attention, which is self-attention essentially. And this has something called keys and value pairs. This is used to calculate the attention weights, which is where this is where the GPU is required to make parallel processing. And we want to know how much memory does it actually take to make that inferencing? How much overhead do we actually need? And today I want to show you guys how to calculate it. So previously I made a video about this or similar to this, calculating GPU memory for serving LLMs. This is a very simple mathematical formula over here. And it's actually relatively accurate, has been very, very useful for me. And I published this video, I would say eight months ago or last year, essentially. And I've got some lot of positive feedback from it. Really, a lot of positive feedback. I don't think that there's a single person on the internet or YouTube actually talking about this out loud. And what's amazing is it, and this is why I really enjoy making videos. I get to speak with people who are smarter than me. And they pointed out that, hey, although this formula is amazing and gives you a pretty good rough estimation of how much memory a model can require. For example, 160 gigabytes of memory for a 70 billion parameter model in a 16-bit format. However, it doesn't actually take into consideration the KV cache. KV cache is the key value pair I just showed you guys. It's required to be able to make inferencing. Now, inferencing takes extra memory. I think I've established that by now. But how do we calculate it? NVIDIA posted this blog about two years ago, where they actually showcase how to calculate exactly that, the extra, the extra overhead you need to be able to do it. So I wanna show you guys how to do that for a model like a Llama 4. So this is the notebook where you guys can use to calculate the KV cache requirement for your transfer models or transfer base models. This formula over here is taken from NVIDIA and this repo over here. And what makes this formula special is the L over here is the number of transformer layers, which you can get from the config file. I'm gonna go through that very, very soon. The sequence length, so how long the token generation you want or you expect the, from your model when you deploy it or you make inference with it. The hidden size, the embeddings dimension. G standing for number of attention heads, B for bat size. And H is a constant. Now, along with two, of course, as expected. Now, first thing that we'll have to do is load the model configuration. Now, before that, you have to install the Hug and Face Transformer package or library, and also log into the Hug and Face CLI because some of the models are gate kept or have some requirements. So we are, as discussed earlier, we are going to load the Llama 4 model. And to do that, we're going to load the config, and then we're going to initialize that. So this is loading the model currently, and there we go. Now we can get the text configs and the number of key value heads. This can be done by initializing in the model config that we defined over here, dot text config, number of hidden layers, 
number of hidden sides, and number of attention heads. These values correspond to the file over here. In every hugging face model, you will find a config.json. These essentially correspond to values over here, but we're accessing that using our code. And these are some printouts. So for this specific scout model, which is 17 billion active parameter model, has 48 hidden layers, 5,120 hidden size. We have 40 attention heads and eight key value heads. So how do we use this in order to calculate the KV cache requirements for this memory? Essentially, how much memory will it require in order to make us use the perfect GPU based upon the memory requirement? Now, now we have to define the hyperparameters. So in what conditions do we expect the model to behave in? which means we're gonna to have to define the bit width, or is it gonna be 16 bit, four bit, the sequence length, how big is your tokens or expected tokens for your generation and the number of batch sizes while doing an inferencing. So over here, we can define 16. We're gonna do sequence of 5,000 and batch size of one. These values would be used in order to make our calculations with a formula. Now, here is the formula that I showed earlier over here in terms of code. We do it two times hidden size, hidden layers, times sequence length, times batch size and hidden size. And then we times it by two divided by 1000 to the power of three, and we round it to four decimals. We do similarly over here for the KV cache group attention, where we do the exact same thing, except we also have the hidden size divided by the KV heads. Again, I did not come up with this formula. This is what the blog posts are suggesting from NVIDIA. So, so, the, memory so the memory consumption of KV cache with group attention is 0.6114 or half a gigabyte of extra memory when you guys make some inferencing based upon these specific sequence length, batch size, and bit width. Now, you can also combine it with the model calculation I provided earlier in a different video where you can actually see how much GPU memory you actually need to load the entire model. And in total, you will probably need a lot of GPU power. Now, let me know what you guys thought about this. I know I've made a video about this previously and I've got some amazing feedback on the previous videos. By the way, any sort of comments like this really warms my heart because I get to talk with very, very smart people like you. So anything is appreciated. All right, guys, I hope you found this video insightful. If you guys did, please subscribe. I make similar videos like these. All right, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice day.